you got to know that you are enough. Wherever you are right now, I want you to put your hand on your heart and I want you to say, I am enough. I want you to type it. I am enough. I want you to say who I am is enough. Who I am is enough. I want you to say who I know is enough because you know the Lord and the Lord has a race set for each one of us and it's not going to look like the next person. So we need to learn how to get our eyes off of what somebody else is doing. Because here's the thing. Oh, God, I feel the Lord. Because here's the thing. He done told many of y'all to start doing something. Write that book. Start that business. Start that ministry. Get in there. Do what you got to do. Write that letter. Go to that person and go do this. But by the time you get on social media and you looking at what somebody else is doing, you feel like you can't do it. Who am I talking to? Have you ever did something and you think that, oh, this is good. This, Oh, I like this. And you're happy about it until you see somebody else doing it. And you're like, well, mine don't look like theirs. <laughs> I don't I don't sound like them so I can't do it. And so what you do? You go put your dream back up. You go put your you, you go put your your um things that you plan to do, you put it up because you sitting there comparing yourself to somebody else feeling like it ain't enough. Stop looking at what everybody else is doing. It's okay to glean from people. And what I mean is, if you don't know how to do something, the Lord has called you to do something. Oh yeah, we're all guilty, Demetrius. It, it's it's okay to glean from people because sometimes you you might not know where to start but if you're not careful you're gonna do like me gleam and then try to become no baby you are all that and then some because if god has called you to do something he has already equipped you to do it but the enemy is gonna make you feel inferior the enemy is going, let me tell you what he's going to do. He is going to put somebody or something right in front of you, right in front of you. I know what I'm talking about. Somebody that's more advanced, somebody that's been doing that thing for a long time, and it's going to cause you to cower and not do what you're supposed to be doing. Who am I talking to this morning? Who am I talking to this morning? See, it's these little things right here. If you, if listen, if I'm saying something that you can relate to, go ahead and make sure that you are liking this video. Go ahead right now. Take the time and like this video. Make sure that you, when you get off of here, send this, this link to somebody in their phone and say, hey, you need to listen to this because it's time for us to win. Y'all, this is a collective thing. We, if somebody's in our circle, the right people, we should want them to win just as much as we're ready to win. Because let me tell you something, God has already equipped you. He has already equipped you for success. Some of you, you know why you don't know your purpose? Because you too busy looking at somebody else's. You know what to do, but you don't think it's good enough. Because you looking at this girl over here doing something, and you're looking at all the, the likes and the loves, and, and it looks like she's being successful. But you don't really know what's behind that. I know there are people and I know because I know them and there are people who will post things and you would think that their life is all well put together. And guess what? It's not. It's not. They every day they are fighting for their life. They are fighting for their freedom. They are not happy. They are depressed. They are stressed, but they are hiding behind a smile. Y'all remember when I used to talk about that because it's coming back. Oh, behind this smile, that, that movement is coming back because so many of us, we're sitting up here smiling and we know that there are some things going on in our lives that we need the Lord to touch and heal us from. Who am I talking to? See, the reason why we compare ourselves is because we don't think that we're enough, but we are. We are. 
And, and this is what we, one of the things that will help us to stop comparing ourselves is number one, we need to keep our eyes on Jesus. We need to sell and we need to celebrate the small wins. Celebrate what you've already accomplished. Stop looking 10 years down the line. Stop looking five years down the line and just stay, live in the moment. Somebody type that, live in the moment live in the moment god got you baby you can do this do you see what i'm talking about there are some of you you started something and you stopped it because you was listening or looking at somebody else and thinking that it wasn't enough y'all we got to stop that but it's it's a reason even deeper than that why we really compare ourselves Okay, if you see that link, if you see that link in the comments, excuse me, y'all, I have something coming up next month, and it's a mentorship, okay? If you are interested in being in a mentorship with me, I want you to click that link when we get off, okay, because we're getting ready to get off. I want you to click that link and I want you to get on that wait list. I want you to get on that wait list because these are the things we're going to talk about. Because I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give y'all a little bit. I'm going to give y'all some stuff we're going to talk about in the next midweek little. Because some of us, some of the distractions is people pleasing. We don't know how to say no. Another one is being stuck in the past. You're upset about something or someone that did something to you in the past. You're dealing with guilt. You're dealing with grief. Sometimes it's the people we're connected to. Sometimes these distractions come from social media. <laughs> y'all see why y'all need to make sure you tune in for the next midweek lift because that's what we're going to talk about. That's what we're going to talk about all of that. But in this mentorship group that I'm getting ready to start in March, and it's going to be subscription based, just sign the, the um, if you put your name and listen, for those of you that may not catch this live and you're watching the replay, you'll see it down in the description. And y'all make sure that you look down in the description, okay? You'll see it down in the description where you can sign up to be on the wait list for the mentorship and this mentorship sorry man i got something for y'all but it's for women okay ages 25 and older we gonna dig deep because some of us we're, we're dealing with some eternal things and it's not necessarily sin that's causing the causing us not to obey god and that's causing us not to get to that next level and that's causing us to stay stuck we lack we lack peace we lack not having enough money. We our faith is shaking. That there, there's so many relational issues, and what all that stems from is not necessarily seeing. It's this weight that we're talking about. It's this weight thinking that we're not enough, still living in the past. Not some of us are still dealing with when mama wasn't there, when daddy was not there. Some of us we remember the touch. You know what I'm talking about. And I want to help us get up out of that because it's time to win. Somebody type that. It is time to win. That I come to serve the enemy. Notice right now for everybody watching right now and who will watch this later. No longer. Satan, will you have dominion over us? You do not have dominion over us. You are not ours we belong to the lord and everything that the enemy is trying to do to destroy us to destroy our faith to weaken our faith to to continue to steal and take what rightfully belongs to us everything attached to the enemy everything he's doing right now i pray right now that those things be destroyed by fire listen it's time for us to get to the next level. It's time for us to get this stuff out of us. We hear the saying, better out than in. It's time for us to get this stuff out of us. We got to stop all this comparing. We got to stop all this pleasing, trying to live to please others. It's driving you insane. 
It's weakening you. You don't have nothing left at the end of the day because you're too busy trying to be everything for everybody else. No, baby, we got to stop that. Y'all write these scriptures down and I'm going to get off of here. Y'all write these scriptures down. These scriptures are going to help you deal. If you're, if you are dealing with comparison, these scriptures are going to help you. So write these scriptures down and some of you can type it in the um, comment section. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. The next scripture is Psalms 139, verse 14. Psalms chapter 139, verse 14. The next scripture is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 11 through 12. Okay? 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 11 through 12. And the last scripture is Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. That's Philippians 4, 13. So I'm going to read it again real quick. 2 Corinthians 10, 12. Psalms 139, verse 14. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 11 through 12. And Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Listen, those scriptures are going to help you deal with this comparison trap. We got to get out of the comparison trap, okay? And if you join that mentorship that's coming up in March, we gonna go deep. We we gonna go deep. I'm gonna really show y'all why we really compare and how to stop it. Okay, how to stop it? Because I'm telling y'all, I was shocked when I tried to become that girl. I was like, girl, what is your issue? So listen, y'all don't have to worry about me trying to be nobody else. Y'all gonna get this country loud grammar. Y'all gonna get me talking to y'all like this because this is who I am. And I make no apologies, okay? And I am more than enough. And so are you. Before we get off of here, I want you to prophetically decree that. I am more than enough. Type that. Before I get off of here, I want to see it. Going down the line, I want to see it. Type it. I am more than enough. And notice the first two words, I am. Who's the great I am? The Lord. And because the Lord is great, so are we. We are created in his likeness. We are created in his image. So there is no reason for us to look at anybody else because I want y'all to know right now, one of them scriptures tell us that man is not our measure. We don't measure our abilities and we don't measure our worth based on somebody else. Our measure should be the Lord and only the Lord. If we want to compare our, if we want to compare ourselves to somebody, Somebody. We need to compare ourselves to who we were yesterday because every day we should strive to be getting better. The Bible says we should be going from glory to glory. That is transformation, okay? Y'all, I, 